Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us is an On Guard Pitfall Mini. I think it's the 8006 model, 8006. And this was sent to me by Daz Evers. And it's a pretty decent lock. I believe they're about 30 pounds or thereabouts new. Uh, it's got plenty of plastic. I, I don't know what's all, all inside this. It's, it's certainly more kind of a filler than anything else, but you know, it seems to be pretty solid, really thick. Uh, shackle and what's really cool about this is it's got a four bolt locking mechanism if I take that out um, you'll see quite how thick that D shackle is but if you look down here I put the key in you'll see they've got two bolts that side and two bolts that side very cool anti shim of course uh, it comes with a whole bunch of keys um, but this one has a little light in it look at that for all your viewing pleasure if you look at the key you'll see that this is a slider mechanism so um, you'd insert the key one way if this lock is orientated this way the sliders are actually on the um, don't know whether you can see actually let's uh, see if I can just open this apart for you I don't know whether you can see down there yeah you can just about see on the right hand side where some of the sliders are. It's a bit hard to tell. These, these sh sort of dust shutter mechanisms are a right pain, they really are, um, to try to navigate behind there. There you go, you can see the sliders there, all the way down. Completely to the right is where the little nibs of the sliders, top and bottom, are. And they interact with the grooves on this key. So this key would actually run and push um, the sliders so they'd be here and as this key moves forwards it would move the sliders up like that so forwards then down then up and then down then up so in that orientation that's exactly what's happening and on the other side you've got this alternate bitting and it tracks um, pins at the bottom the same way so the pin the sliders will move in and out depending on the uh, cuts here so both rows of sliders are on uh, one side of the lock. I believe that there is a sidebar um, at the top, sidebar at the bottom, and the sliders move to interact with uh, the sidebar. Sidebar will fall into gate when the slider's in the right position, and then we should be able to turn the court and get an open. Huh, there you go. So um, let's throw this in a vise. I'll then talk you through how I'm going to tension it and how I'm going to pick it, and then hopefully we can then tension and pick it. Right. Onto the picking. So picking this type of lock, it, it is actually tricky. There's four sides at the top, four at the bottom, two sidebars, and it does need a little bit of technique, a little bit of practice. And to tension it, well, one, get the lock oriented in the right way. So you want the sliders this side, and you want a space to uh, put your tension at this side. And this tension tool is one I think Daz Evers and Lock Picking Lawyer uses. It's a tension tool from a whole set of Chinese uh, tensioners you can buy from your favorite Chinese importer slash emporium. And um, to pick it, I've got a pizza number one hook in 25 thousandth, and that should get me just behind the sliders on the right hand side. So you want to get this, this tension tool in straight down the keyway and tension like that. And you get it close to the left as you can, while you get the pick close to the right as you can. And you've got to angle it slightly that way so that you can dig behind where the sliders are. I'm going to put it tip down um, this is the uh, and try and get behind these sliders. So. Okay, that was um, one, two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. Okay, one, two. Little movement on two. Nothing on three, and nothing on four. Okay, so maybe at the top. Oh, oh that's two. A nice big movement on two. Try and get behind four if I can. Ah, whoa, nice click on four, blimey. Um, let's try the bottom now. Uh, 
one. Oh, and we're open. Look at that. That was a that was fast. That was the fastest pick I've done. Usually it takes me about four to five minutes. Um, I don't want to pull wool over your eyes there. Don't want you to think that I can always get in this lock in about two minutes. That's not always the case. It just isn't the case. So um, that was pretty good. So it just shows practice. Unfortunately, does mean you get um, a faster pick. Is that unfortunate? Well, it depends on which way you look at it. And there we go. That is now opened up. And you can see we've got full control. Uh, there you go. You've got the uh, sold secure label there. Um, because if you look down here, you'll see that I can move these uh, retractable bolts in and out on both sides. You've got four in there, four locking bolts. There we go. Pretty nice. Where are they? Ah, there you go. So there you go, that's um, that on guard slider D lock from Daz Evers. Really appreciate it, Daz. It's pretty awesome of you to send it. Um, good fun to learn a new lock mechanism. Um, this one is, you know, a reasonable challenge to learn. You need to get the tension just right, but good fun if you get the chance. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.